Hey everybody, so in the last update to Magic Map Material Maker, I went ahead and added an 8K World Composition demo map. And this map is using World Composition, obviously. Here we can see the tiles disappearing and everything. On this map, the generator is already set up with it, as well as the Material Blueprint, where you just gotta push one button and it can change the entire uh, material that is used on the terrain. Now, since this uh, generator is actually on this and working, let's go ahead and make a terrain real quick. Also added a loading screen here, so if it hangs a little bit while it's pushing it to, to some of the larger landscapes, you're, you're not just left wondering why. And there we go. There's a new landscape from the terrain generator pushed to the terrain. And this is a uh, completely different height map. I'm going to go ahead over the, the course of this tutorial. We're going to go through two different methods of actually uh, starting a map using world composition and getting the terrain generator and the material blueprint to work with it. So let's go ahead and go back to where we started. Now you're going to want to click these meshes right here. This is the ocean and this is the lighting. You're going to want to select all these by pressing control click and then right click them go to edit and copy what we're going to do is copy the lighting and the ocean over to a new level go to new level click empty level don't save so let's go ahead and get going on the first method that I'm going to show you how to do world composition here. First, we want to paste in the lighting that we just copied from the previous level. And in this method, I'm going to teach you how to actually import a tiled landscape from something like World Machine. I'm going to save it now. What you want to make sure with world composition is that when you save the level, it's in its own folder. Because as we make the tiles for it, we're going to be put, putting them in this, this folder right here. And in order for World Composition to actually understand the map and what to include and in what height maps and everything, they have to all be in the same folder. So after this, we go to World Settings here. Click Enable World Composition. Go up to Window. Levels. When you first open this up, it's going to show up as a window. I'm going to go to Import Tiled Landscape and select Height Map Tiles. Now I'm going to look for where I saved the World Machine Height Map here. And you can see it's in, in many chunks here, a lot of different height maps. World, uh, World Composition is going to go ahead and align these for me. I want to untick that that I just unticked because if you're using world composition or not world composition if you're using a landscape from world machine you actually have to untick that feature now you'll notice there's no landscape in the world here so we need to actually load them into the world because by default they're not loaded so you want to select them all right click them and click load Now we see our nice gray bland landscape here. Go to blueprints. You want to drag and drop the magic map material BP into the world. This is going to get our, uh, our material onto the landscape here. Go real quick. I'm going to just increase the size here so I can actually see the icon and be able to click on it. You want to tick this uh, option right here. I just added this in the previous update too. It says apply to all tiles because normally using world composition, when you apply a material to the terrain, it's only going to apply it to that little section because there's, there's multiple sections here. So with this enabled, it's going to go ahead and iterate over all of the tiles and apply the material. It just makes it a little bit easier one button push solution instead of uh, doing it multiple times you want to click prepare new landscape now this is going to give us a warning that it's not and there you see it in red uh, that the landscape isn't prepared yet and i added this just so people have a reference 
and understand what to do next when this actually happens. It's because we don't have the auto layer applied. So we'll go up here to landscape, find the auto layer here. Normally, and this goes for like all marketplace uh, products that actually use auto materials. Normally, if you don't have the auto layer applied, it'll just be black. Like the entire landscape will be black. And then, I, then I'll have people asking me, why is the terrain black? Why is the terrain black? Why is the terrain black? And you might have come across this in a different product. So instead of having to mask that, I added this feature right here that actually tells you what to do next. So we'll click the, the plus icon there. I can't talk today for some reason. Now we'll go back to the Magic Map Material BP. You want to click Apply Landscape Preset like it says right here. And this is the last step that you're going to actually do to have the terrain material on your terrain using World Composition. There it is. Because this landscape's a little flat, it's actually, uh, there's not much slope slope data for it to actually work with but as you can see here the material is applied looking nice and everything we're going to go ahead get the terrain generator running on it after this just testing it out real quick it seems to work so you want to go back to the blueprints folder drag and drop the landmass preview mesh into your world now you want to zero out its location the reason why is because in order for the erosion to work the way that it's set up right now and I'm looking to to fix this in a future update is that the X and Y axis of the location needs to be at zero the Z axis you can move anywhere like I did right there just moving it up now you want to go back to the blueprints folder right click map maker interface and run editor utility widget this will bring up the terrain generator UI here and we're going to go ahead and make a terrain real quick. Run some erosion over it. Good enough. There we go. There it is. Just a... Uh, quick map yeah we could do better than that hold on let's get some more fine grain noise since this is 8k need a few more little mountains there I think Yeah, that's looking a little bit better over there. Okay. Yeah, now you can see the auto material working a little bit better as it's intended to here. Everything's looking good. Just going to run around in the landscape for a second, check everything out. For this next method that we're going to be showing here, we're going to speed through a whole lot of the process because we've already gone over it once in the previous uh, method that we went over. So go ahead, copy the lighting in, save your level. Once again, name it whatever you want, but make sure to put it in its own folder. I'm just going to call this one sections example. It's going to be breaking the map up into sections here. Go to world settings, just like last time, up to levels. This time, what's different? You want to click create new, and this is going to create the tiles and engine. Name them whatever's clever. You can, you can name, I'm just naming this uh, level 01 
here because it's going to be our first level. Go ahead and right click it, click Make Current, go up to Modes, Landscape. Now we're actually going to make our uh, landscape tiles. So these are the the settings that I chose here. They seem to work pretty good. It's it's going to make like a 2K tile. We're going to do this four times so we get a 4K landscape. Once you're done, click Create. Here's our 2K landscape we just created first tile of the whole world composition thing go to the levels hmm, and um, click on summons world composition it'll bring up this little mini map here right click it click add adjacent landscape level and choose whichever direction you want you want to name this something different than your first level that you created in this case i'm naming it level two I'm getting really creative with it Go ahead, make another adjacent landscape tile. I won't uh, torture you with going through this, this whole process over and over again, so I'm gonna speed it up. Now we have a 4K landscape sitting here, but it is kind of flat. I'm gonna fix this here in a minute with the terrain generator. Make sure you're on the level one here when you add the blueprint, because it needs to be with your landscape uh, actor. Add in the magic map material BP just like we did last time. Click the apply to all tiles tick here and prepare new landscape. And now we see this nice bright red color landscape with the directions on it. Go into paint, plus icon, weight blended. Now it's going to turn green for us. Go back into the Magic Map Material BP, just like we did in the previous method. Now we click Apply Landscape Preset, and that's going to apply the material to our terrain. It's a little tiley here that's because it's flat we'll give it the uh, auto material something to work with here in a minute with some of the slopes and everything but this is our material applied to our terrain now we're going to add in the terrain generator it's, it's basically the same exact process as with uh importing tiled landscapes from height maps drag and drop it zero out location bring it up so we can check it out Now, this is an important part right here because sometimes when we actually make a world composition terrain, because we're doing it in tiles, it's going to give us like a total, the total resolution is going to be wacky sometimes because the tiles add up to something that may not be supported actually by the terrain generator. And I'm going to put all the different sizes that the terrain generator actually supports it down in the description of this video but for this case because it's close to 4k we're going to go ahead and if it's not already set at this we're going to change this where it says detected landscape resolution override we're going to change that to 4033 and that'll give us it'll be able to talk to the right resolution to the terrain Right click on MapMaker interface, run editor utility, utility widget, and we're going to make a quick little map here. Just get some different noise, press bake noise the landscape. There's, there's the random noise on it. You could do a whole lot better than this. It's just using one little variable. Let's go ahead and add some erosion to this real quick. I like messing with this thing. I think it looks pretty cool. Add some particle based erosion. This will give it a little bit more fine detail. And 
bake that in real quick. And there we go, folks. This is the end of the tutorial. We went over two different methods for wool composition. Um, if you have any feedback, feel free to leave it in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.